as a Christian American <coughs> member of Western civilization, so to speak, uh, I, I have fear. I have great fear every day when I send my kids to school or when I go to a government building or any large public space that there could be another Islamist, Islamist extremist terrorist attack in America. And we've had dozens and dozens over, of them over the past several years where three to four to five thousand Americans were killed in these attacks. And I, mm -hmm. 3,000 and 9,000. Can you tell me how many attacks have been perpetrated by Excuse me, excuse me. 3,000 and 9,000, San Bernardino, Orlando, Boston, the list goes on and on. And, and I and many people I know live in fear of another attack. And I'll tell you, I leave here tonight with less hope than I entered here tonight because I didn't hear any of my Muslim friends here condemn 9-11 and condemn the other terrorist oh attacks as motivated by religious intolerance against Christian America. So, Well, Mark, let's, let's give that because I, I do think that is going a little far. All of, I know all of these people. They fully condemn terrorism. I didn't hear it. I, so I, so I, we're going to give them yeah. an opportunity to do yeah. that so that you feel better. Okay, so yeah. go, so go down condemn, the line. We the have, attacks? No, no let's yes. just, just so, condemn. So why, why are we asking, I really protest that we are asking Please Muslim let's, people to apologize We're having for a something. discussion. We are having a discussion. No, I said, was 9-11 it, was motivated by religious intolerance okay, for, let against me a Christian right. America? But no, I mean, let me answer that. that. It wasn't. Let me, let me. Whether I'm right or wrong. I don't even yeah. know what the okay, answer let is. Let me answer. I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to answer. We're going to stop it right now. Yeah. Because we are not exhibiting civility. No, yes, that's and why. And civility means one person talks, yeah. one person does not talk over them, however that's motivated so you are to object. Yeah. That's so self-control. It was not targeted exclusively against Christian America, okay? It was a multitude of things. First and foremost, it was the foreign policy that triggered it, the intervention in a lot of other countries that created economic and social problems for those countries. And it was not something that happened overnight and they decided, okay, let's attack the, the Christian America. Well, and let's not forget that a lot of Muslim people also lost their lives in right. the attacks of 9-11. So, and uh, now the case, yeah. you don't need to defend that. Yes. You really so, don't. But just I'm just trying to say that we have condemned condoning. multiple times. It has been 17, 17 years. It's just that our voices, the Muslim voices, the moderate Muslim voices who have condemned and who continue to condemn these um, incidents are not focused. They are not promoted. They are not portrayed in the media. We are portraying it what here. We're doing. So, okay. what, but what we are trying to say is, we are targeted. We are a targeted group here. Right. So the group that holds the power needs to engage in a dialogue with us and 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 uh, reach out to us. Okay. Can that we let Samia have the? Okay, yeah. and then we'll go to. That's I, not, but I know a lot of people want to say something. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I, I truly understand your fear. I really do. Because we live in fear, too, so yes. I understand things. Exactly. And please believe me, we have all condemned it. Just Google yeah. and see how many Islam. And we condemn, all of us condemn any kind of Most terrorism, of times, yes. whether it's done by a Muslim, which yeah. happens to be zero, 99.0.040s, zero one percent. Yes. Point zero 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 one percent. So am I to talk for them all the time? Yeah. It's not fair to put that on us. All kinds of terrorism are definitely including them. white yes. nationalism. Absolutely. Yes. And I understand your fear. How do we get rid of that fear? Come talk to me. Yeah. Hold hands with me. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Because honestly, these these are all good people. Yeah. Absolutely. You're a good person. She's a good person. The only thing that separates you is you're not knowing that, yeah. not I understanding each other. Because there is no way these folks support Absolutely. anything that would hurt you. Absolutely. I want to thank each one of you. Look, these are tough topics, and they do rile us up uh, deep inside. So I understand why we got a little emotional. But I thank you for doing your best to have a civil discussion. I thank you, Mark, for being here to offer a different point of view, because most of these folks seem to be going after you. But we need, we need differences of opinion. We need to come together with people who can help us at least understand what the other side is talking about.